Revivalers, welcome back. We are on day four of the Route de Grande Alps and it is going amazingly. I'm up, all showered, ready for uh, day four of the Route de Grande tour. Yeah, we're, I'm in a campsite, it's called Le Reclus, just outside of St. Borg Moritz. Yeah, it's along the route, it's on the the D901, I believe, on that on the road heading towards Geneva. So yeah, I'm gonna get packed up, get the tent packed up, pack all the bags onto the Speedmaster, and then we'll hit the road and we're gonna start heading to Geneva, Lake Geneva. Um, hopefully we can can get up to Lake Geneva today, but we'll see if there's a beautiful spot along the way or a nice place to, to camp or go for a wild swim or something. We may take it easy, but yeah back to riding and packing this baby up for the trip. See you on the road. Et voila, campsite down, ready to hit the road. So just riding along guys from the campsite and uh, five minutes in, thought I haven't had breakfast, let's fill up ready for the day's ride. So there's this awesome place just on the side of the road as you enter St. Borg Maurice. Restaurant Le BSM. And a hotel as well. It is very close to the road, but it's really cool. Really nicely decked out. They've got motorbike parking around the back. So safe motorbike parking. There are the prices. It's really nice, really nice music. Nice decor if you're along this route, could be a handy place to stop. And then there's Brecky. Filled myself up there. I'm a sucker for a good place, a good place for food. Time to hit the road again, time to get some miles in and oh, enjoy this, enjoy this weather. Sun's out again, so we're lucky. Thank you very much, Le BSM. Au revoir. So that's uh, the card bit done, money in. Select the pump you, uh, you chose and the, let the filling commence. It obviously doesn't work like this, but it's deceiving as well because it's such a small tank. I'm not exactly sure the correct literage, so I won't, I won't give you the wrong information. As you can see, 10 euros to fill up. <laughs> so you think, oh, it's incredibly cheap, the Speedmaster, but it's actually just that you're filling up two to three times every day. So. But it's nice to think that it is, it is cheap. On the road again, fueled up. Let's get up to the mountains. Oh, I'd quite fancy a few big, big climbs today. Just cruising, cruising for a bruising. Nah, no, joking. We're just cruising down the D902, coming out of St. Borg Maurice, heading up towards Mont Blanc through this beautiful sweeping road through this, uh, this luscious um, green valley here. Very peaceful. Beautiful cruise here on the D902 coming out of St. Borg Moritz through this lovely valley. Sun's out, just cruising, lovely temperature. Alright team, 
up on a nice and high up here and I found a beautiful quiet spot for a morning dip boost the endorphins get feeling good get the mental health going well a bit of Wim Hof mental health awareness up in this glorious spot with my Speedmaster just there right up in the top of the Alps sun's out time to take the plunge start feeling good let's go for it wish me luck <laughs> Awesome, feeling good. Cool, that was chilly <laughs> to say the least, but yeah, feeling no awesome. So nice, feeling lovely. Got my jumper on just underneath here, jacket on, jump back on the bike and uh, enjoy the scenery. Cows. You can hear them, the bells shining away. Oh, that's a pretty horse. Hey, bud. Town of Les Descents. Classic cars, nice. Look at that Merc. Looks like a pretty town here. God, it's so cool around here. All of the, when you really get into the Alps, it, it sort of remind, it reminds me, I've never been, I, I definitely plan on doing it. Um, but America, oh, just like, I don't know where it would be, but with these wooden sort of cowboy style, uh, like chalets, well, they're chalets here, I don't know what they call them in America, log cabins, sort of cowboy style, horses, oh, I love it, I love, love that, that vibe. I really like the, um, the wood sounds simple, but the like logs—the way they do the fences out of logs and the wooden chalets—that's really cool. Like this, the signpost, those logs. Simple, but I like it. <laughs> cool town. Very nice. Sorry, I can't uh, pronounce it correctly, but there's the name Le Saïd. Pardon me, but yeah, just a brief visit, ride through, but looks very nice, very popular mountain biking spot, and we're off in, back into the, uh, back into the wild.
guys, so I've just stopped for um, for lunch. Oh, here comes the menu. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. It's pretty swanky up here. Very nice spot and a wonderful view. But yeah, it's really busy. Um, and it's it's high end. I think it's gonna be, I think the bill's not gonna be cheap. <laughs> um, but have to treat yourself every now and then. Right at the top of a climb. I can imagine in the winter this would be very, very busy. If we take a look inside, I'll just show you the layout. It's empty inside at the moment. Obviously it's summer, everyone's outside, but very nice, cool layout. Some lovely, whoa, whatever that is. Very comfortable. I think we're in Switzerland, well we're not, but they have the Swiss flag everywhere. This shop looks really cool, look at these. Just had a thought, just walking past this, this shop with all the, uh, I think it's goat skin, or goat fur rather, um, thinking one of those thrown on the back of the bike to cover up the, the luggage on the back would look Oh, beautiful. We'll see, maybe I'll keep an eye out at another place. It's, uh, it's not mega cheap here, to say the least. Oh, what a lovely stop. There's a great lunch, nice and full. Um, yeah, not the cheapest, but it's uh, got to treat yourself every now and then. We're on, um, you see the sign, Col de Arabis. Um, it's not, well, actually I think it is pretty high. 1,487 meters, not the highest. It's really cool, it's really, it's a popular spot, but it's, it's beautiful. They've got all these like goat skin and cow skin and fur sort of things that they're selling. <laughs> um, is there any way to describe it? Yeah, I'm not gonna get one of those for the bike yet, a little bit expensive, but they've also got an awesome another chapel. Um, sort of, there's a bit of a religious theme going on in these videos, um, which yeah, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, beautiful place up here. If you're around on this route, recommend it. So I'm gonna jump back on the bike and we're gonna be on the D909. And just, we're getting close to Lake Geneva now. So I'll just uh, keep riding in that direction and, and look for a place for, for staying tonight. I'm not sure whether we'll be camping um, or possibly a, an interesting looking hotel. Yeah, bit of a bit of a treat, but yeah, we'll catch up on the bike. I'm a bit tired today, if I'm being honest, but we'll uh, get back on the road. Always makes you feel better. No sheepskin bought today. We'll save that till next time. But let's head on, hit the road. <laughs> uh, classic cars there. Very nice. Nice Morgan, love a Morgan. Yo, just a catch up. So I just pulled over. God knows where I am. It's, I'm on my way to uh, Clouses or Clouse, but it's just completely flattened out the terrain. And we're just sort of going through, I've got to be honest, not a very, not very exciting, let's put it that way. And it's quite industrial and it's hot. Whew. So I just pulled over, I'm going to take five. So yeah, I think that, you know, um, Possibly on the mental health side, it sort of relates to mental health a bit. Um, I find it does for myself. Just to, you know, stop if you feel that things are getting too much or everything's closing in um, or seeming bad. It's tough to do, I know, but it's, um, 
just trying to just wind down completely and simplify. Uh, there's no pressure. I find this helps me anyway. I don't know if it'll, it applies, but I, it's what I think. Don't force yourself to go on. Just just take a moment to appreciate, and uh, there's no pressure. Take it easy. You don't have to perform perform at your best the whole time, I suppose. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'll uh, I'll see you on the road in a sec. And we'll go on. We're gonna gonna grab a hotel for the night and just chill out a bit. I think sort of I'm chasing chasing the good stuff, whereas I just need to chill a bit now. Um, cool. for a while. Uh, dead flat. Really industrial. Sort of real main road. I don't know if I've taken a wrong turn or something. Being back on these like, main roads -ish. and it being just flat really makes you appreciate how nice it is. Up in the mountains where there's hardly anyone around. God, some of that those views and roads and just nature I guess is just so nice so refreshing okay guys Woo. that was slightly stressful I made it out <laughs> alive in one piece, which is a bonus. But yeah, that is Cluzes. All of that. I suppose it's my fault. I should have done my research a bit more. I didn't realize it was such a big uh, town or city, is it? But yeah, <laughs> let's say me and Cluzes don't quite see eye to eye. Not today, anyway. But yeah, that was um, oh, stressful. Busy, lost, hot, tired. Not the best of times, but we're out now, and actually it's outside of Clues. There's the hills outside of Clues. There's, it's stunning. Back onto the nice roads, and onto the hotel. Okay, so a bit hectic around here. I think there should be a hotel up here somewhere. Okay guys, I am, I'm sure this place is lovely. The original city hotel. Just, uh, I don't know, I'm not feeling it right now at this moment. It's just gonna chill. Take it really easy and get into the uh, countryside a bit more. Um, I think I've got another place on a uh, trusty Google Maps here that looks looks more what I'm after at the moment. All right, guys. Whew. Well, I got a little bit stressed back there. All part of the journey though. It was, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty stressful. It's traffic and hot. Oh, I'm shattered as well. So I'm in a hotel tonight. I'm in a small town, bit random. We're a bit off course. Um, not too far though. Um, we're in Tannin Jets? Tan oh, I, c I can't pronounce it. I'll, I'll find a a sign but it's just outside of uh, Cluzes um, about 10 minutes but it's a bit more in the country so it's a bit nicer uh, yeah this is the, uh, the hotel I'm in here very nice hotel I don't actually think they're properly open because uh, I think the winter's their season but they've let me come in which is really kind of them they've actually moved their family car 
and let me put the bike there right outside the hotel really nice of them and yeah they were sort of rushed off their feet they sort of weren't expecting anyone but they've been really nice and let me stay in so that's that's really good of them yeah i'm just going to go for a walk in town it doesn't look like much is open but hopefully you can get some food somewhere because i'm starving awesome day today a bit of an adventure which is always good no, no never goes perfectly but that's part of the part of the travel Tomorrow we, we will be getting to Geneva, it's not far at all now, um, so late Geneva tomorrow, maybe go for a bit of a dip, the, uh, the grand finale to the Grand Tour des Alps. I hope you're enjoying it guys, see you tomorrow for the finale, ciao bella. <laughs>